Welcome to the third part of this video tutorial series on creating a trip mine in Blueprint. The final thing we want to do is set up this red emissive here to start as green, change to red for a second when the arm is when the mine is armed, and then explode. So we need to do a few things here to be able to set this up. First, we're going to jump back into the construction script and grab a reference of the trip mine mesh. Now from that mesh, we need to get the material that's being used. We need to just get material and load here to do this. What we want to do is, once we have this material, we want to create a new material instance dynamic and an MID allows us to modify parameters that we've specified in the material. If we go back to the first video, we've set up an emissive color parameter that we want to modify. So I'm going to drag off return value and type create to get this create dynamic material instance. I'm going to connect this up here. Now one thing you might have seen is this return value is automatically hooked up to the world context object, which is not what we want. We actually want to connect that up as the parent here. From there, we want to create a new variable of the return value. This is going to be an instance of the material instance dynamic that we want to use. I'm just going to go promote to variable. I'm going to name this variable trip mine MID and we can now make modifications to parameters on this MID and have it affect the trip mine. What we need to do is make sure we actually set the trip mine mesh to use this MID because this create material instance dynamic function doesn't actually assign the material instance to the mesh. So the next thing we need to do is just quite simply drag back off the trip mine mesh again to a set material and the material we want to use is the trip mine MID. This up after the set. And then after that, what we want to do is set the initial color to be green. So to set this up, we'll drag off the material instance dynamic and we'll do a set vector parameter value. The parameter name, as we've seen in the first video, is emissive color. And the value that we want to set, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, promote this to a variable. I'm going to call this idle color. Do a compile and then we can set the default value of that from the color picker. I'm going to set that to be 0.5 red, 25.5 green, and 0.5 blue. Click OK. And if we compile that and jump into the components view, of course remembering to connect everything up. In the component view we can see that this is now green on construction. So the next thing we want to do is set it up to turn red when we trip the trip mine. But we also need to aim a bit of a delay there so you know we can go wait a second uh, turn red and then explode. So back in the event graph we're just going to uh, just break this off here at the spawn emitter at location and after this cast to pawn, we're going to add a set timer node. And the set timer node allows us to call a particular function after a certain amount of time. Now the object we're going to call it on is obviously going to be ourself. And the function name is going to be explode, and we're going to call it after 0.75 seconds. Now what we need is to actually add this explode function, and the explode function is going to be all of this, which we're already doing. So I'm going to select it all, press Control X to cut it, click on the Add New Function Graph button, call that Explode and press Control V to paste everything in, and the explosion itself is now its own function, which we can call. Back in the Event Graph, we also want to add another variable. I'm going to right-click Add Variable. It's going to be a Boolean variable called B is arming or actually B is armed and this variable is going to store the value whether this has already been tripped has someone walked across it yes after the set time we know someone's walked across it so I'm just going to drag in set is armed I'm going to set it to true click on the checkbox here and we also want to set in somewhere to uh, compare whether this has already been armed or not. I'm just going to add that in here between the caster pawn. So 
Just go uh, add a branch. Connect that up. And the condition here is going to be get is armed. If it's not already armed, then we'll activate the timer. And the last thing we want to do is grab the trip mine MID again. Get that. Set vector parameter value. Once again, the parameter is going to be emissive color. And the value we're going to use, I'm going to promote to variable once again. Call it armed color. Compile it up and set the value to be red, 25.5, 0.5, 0.5. You see that's a red color. Connect up the set there. So now if we compile, this should be everything we need to do. Jump into our map, we can see our trip mine is initially green. If we do a play from here, walk across it, changes to red, and a second later, it explodes, and we're dead. So that's all for this video tutorial. Thanks for watching and I hope you've learned more about Blueprint.